Hello everyone. Good morning. It's a great day to see all of you here. Thank you so much for coming. Now our topic for today is the forgotten immunity. Why? Because this product, which is which is actually information, is the forgotten immunity. Because I think and I believe this is the unmet need of the medical practice today. If you go to the uh, the pharmaceuticals or you go to uh, Mercury Drug or wherever, it's not found there. So it's only in for life research. It's not also found in any other uh, supplement companies. So we are the only ones who have this. Isn't it great? It's only for life. It's unique to for life. I mean, this is very unique product. Okay. Now, this forgotten immunity is called transfer factor. Can you please repeat it? Transfer factor. Yes. This is about transfer surgical science. It is the transferring of immunity from one being to the other. It could either be animals or humans. Immunity, which can be transferable today. Long ago, it wasn't clear the idea of transferring immunity. You have to get sick first. You know, that's the problem. You have to get sick of chicken pox. You have to get sick first of a disease or like TB or leprosy so that you will get the immunity. But you don't want to get sick, right? Do you want to get sick of leprosy first before you get the immunity of leprosy? Do you want to get sick first of TB before you want to have the immunity of TB? No way. I don't want that, right? So there was this doctor way back in 1949 who discovered that immunity can be transferred through a molecule called transfer factor. Okay? So our topic for today is immunity, which is transfer factor. I'll just give you a little bit of background. Well, long time ago, okay, maybe in the 1950s, okay, um, when Louis Pasteur discovered or developed the idea that bacteria can be killed by a chemical, then modern medicine was born, isn't it? So man was, you know, was helped many, many years by antibiotics, by steroids, but something came up along the way. Antibiotics resistance came in. So the memorized no uh, bacteria and uh, chemicals and then steroid destroyed also the human body, the immune system, the compromise because of the steroid. So there was a call for the return of this transfer factor that was discovered by Dr. Sherwood Lawrence in 1949. So this is the good thing. What Dr. Sherwood Lawrence discovered in 1949 was a molecule called transfer factor which can actually transfer immunity. Now, I want that. I want to be immune to something rather than get sick first and become immune. Isn't it logical? Is it very logical? No? So I, I'd rather be, be able to prevent the disease rather than have the disease and try to get well. So this is our offering to the human race. We will provide unlimited immunity. And we are the only ones who have that. Only four life has it. So let's explain more. Before anything else, I would like you to go to my website, mdprolife.blogspot.com. And then when you search the PowerPoint and seminar video, you just type the password, God is good. And then you will be able to connect to my database where all my presentations are there. So you can also present to your friends. And one of the most important things there is the Dosagen Guide 2018 so that you will be able to uh, help others in terms of prescribing to them what transfer factor products can be used for certain type of diseases and the dosaging guides. 
So that's for you. And of course, in my uh, Facebook, you need to ask your friend who invited you to make you or add you into my Platinum Helicopter Club, which is actually a secret group which can be used by you in your in your journey towards success in poor life. So when you reach my blog, you just go here to the PowerPoint seminar video, and then you click it, and then type my password, that is good. You also have a life coaching newsletter here, which you can click, and then I can give you emails for free in terms of helping you or life coaching, uh, helping you understand more about the products and also about life. Okay. I would like to explain to you that we have this type of, you know, patients who are already suffering from leprosy, multi-drug resistant strain. This is very difficult case because you know what? They are drug resistant. Meaning the drugs that are given to them no longer work. So what do you do when your patient is suffering from a multi-drug resistant strain? In this case, this is leprosy. Now a similar case to this is TB. Uh, those who are suffering from multi-drug resistant TB. So these two have the same mycobacterium. So there, the reason for having this disease is because of a mycobacterium the brain, and for TB, mycobacterium TB, okay? And since there is no medication for that, okay, Dr. Maria Luisa Benida, who is a researcher, who is the founder of the Skin Research Foundation of the Philippines, came up with a study to try our product, Transfer Factor, okay? And after 10 years of study, 70 patients who are multi-drug resistant are now well. Isn't that great? Okay, so you know what? That's the best thing that happened in the last 10 years. These people, these sick people now are well. Wonderful, isn't it? So back to life, 70 of them. With the help of transfer. So about 70 of them got well in this 10 year study. That's the reason why Dr. Bidid now is really doing well in her practice as a dermatologist because a lot of a lot of patients before were just using steroid but you know steroid is the golden child of medicine when it comes to inflammatory problems but it has side effects but transfer factor can do likewise what steroids can do minus the side effect. Isn't that great? So even the Japanese scientists came here to the Philippines and asked us what we did. Because they were so uh, surprised how we were able to help a lot of multi-drug resistant streets. Okay. So we told them it's transfer factor who help these patients. And even the Rotarians are helping give away this for free. Okay. So I have a group called Tico Nola who are also using this, giving away products to this to the uh, sick people who are very poor. So Dr. Medida actually is giving a talk also about transfer factor to the patients and even to the to the to the scientists uh, from other countries. Okay? So this is the treatment graph actually. Uh, this patients uh, who were in their worst scenario for three years were given steroid but the steroid went up on the third year meaning to say it didn't work right mm -hmm. so even the multi-drug which is for drugs multi-drug treatment in spite of that the patient also got worse so it was only this time when transfer factor was given on the third year and you will notice that the steroid went down and the multi drug stopped on the third month, meaning to say it works. So, this product is an adjuvant, meaning 
You use this with the help of the medicine. You use this with the help of drugs because this is just an adjuvant to whatever drug therapy you are using. So we are not a drug. We are not a cure. We just focus on the immune system. So the drugs are important because they are the ones that can directly kill the bacteria. Okay? But the transfer factor will teach the immune system how to kill also so that there will be a, you know, a cooperative attack. Isn't it? So this is even better. When the immune system becomes wise, becomes intelligent, becomes strong, then it can attack us. So the drugs are being helped by transfer factor. That's the beauty of a combined therapy. See? Even if this is a supplement, it can help the immune system fight back too. So this boy, who was so wheelchair born for about 12 years, is now back to school because of transfer factor. Another boy suffering from leprosy drug resistance in 2004 was using drug therapy, okay, the multi drug therapy. In 2005 became worse, and in 2006 even became worse. But when transfer factor was added onto the therapy of the drugs, now a combined therapy helped because this time the bacterial count became zero. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, the chart is the same. Transfer factor is this, and the drugs went down here. So what is the relevance of this towards cancer therapy? Okay, so chemotherapy, okay, can kill the, the cancer cells, but it also kills the good cells. That's why the patients become weak and sometimes they die because of, of over weakness, because their immune system is bogged down. So when you give chemotherapy or radiation therapy or surgery, it would be better that you give them the transfer factor plus so that their immune system is up by 437%. So this time your immune system is gonna go fight back and multiply its own stem cells in just 48 hours to recover from the lost cells that were destroyed by the chemotherapy. So you come out of the hospital whole again. Unlike without this, you go out of the hospital only maybe half. <laughs> so how can you recover if you haven't really uh, supplied what was lost? So this will supply. This will supply what was lost by chemotherapy. So it's a good combination, chemotherapy plus transfer factor. So look at this, before and after. See? And this patient is now back to life. That's why today, guys, if you want to help the lepers, you can donate, actually. It takes 12 bottles of transfer factor plus for you to be able to help a leper go back to life. It's up to you. So we're knocking on your heart. That's why I came up with Tico Lam because this is a uh, non-profit organization which will help these patients also be able to, you know, to be able to support them with free products, okay? And our vision is to eradicate leprosy and TB by 2030. Okay? So this is my own personal thing, you know. So as a distributor, we can also go come up with our own idea of a social contribution. Not just to earn money. That's why in For Life it is a must that we help other people too in order to be successful. Isn't it good? That's why. We need also to help build them and also rehabilitate programs can be offered to them. Okay? 
So there are activities not just selling for life, okay? There are activities that we do in order to be able to help, okay, helping other people who are less fortunate. So in going back to Dr. Sherwood Lawrence's discovery of transfer factor in 1949, we owe a lot to Dr. Sherwood, right? This idea that immunity can be transferred. So we are so lucky today that there is already a machine invented by For Life Research, which is actually called the Dry Biotech Ultra Filtration Extraction Process Machine, which will extract now the transfer factor from the cow's colostrum and chicken egg yolks. Hmm. So the cow's colostrum has 50% T cells, and according to the study of Dr. Sherwood, this molecule called transfer factor is residing in the T cell. You know, the T cell is the white blood. Okay? Okay? The white blood cells, right? So in our blood, there is a T cell, which is called in medicine the T lymphocytes or the T cells. And the T cells is the residence, actually, of transfer factor. And these T cells actually also found in the animals. So, in the animals, it's found in their colostrum. Okay? In the chickens, it's found in the egg yolks. In the humans, it's found in the mammary gland during the first three days, which is the colostrum of the mother. So the colostrum is just a vehicle. So it does no milk, no milk, because we already extracted just the molecule. Because if this were the T cells, by the way, these transfer factors are non-species specific. Do you know what's non-species specific? Meaning, whatever animal or human is belonging to the animal kingdom, okay, has the same transfer factor. So there can be no side effect. There can be no foreign body here. It's not a foreign body because the transfer factor molecule itself is the same. The same specification in all of the animal kingdom where we belong to. So imagine that this is the T cell. We took it from the milk, from the colostrum, or from the egg yolk, right? The reason why we got it from the cows and the chickens is because it's available. It's so much abundant. And it's already acceptable to humans, right? So the T cells, if these are the T cells, what we did is just to extract the information, which is this. So this is the transfer factor. So, this one is similar to the human, exact replica of the human transfer factor. And all we did is to place it in a capsule, there you go, and put it inside a bottle. So these are live molecules, which when you drink this, will carry unlimited number of information. Now, remember this, the cows have a lot of information inside their body set, isn't it? They have almost all kinds of immunity. This is just common sense. Take a look at the cows. Have you heard of cows dying of dengue? No. No, no. There's none. Have you heard of people dying of dengue? A lot. So, what's the difference? The cows have unlimited immunity. The chickens do but humans, no. So this is the strategy. Get the cow's immunity and transfer it to the humans so that we will be immune to a lot of pathogens, a lot of microbes, and a lot of viruses because that is the way to protect us, isn't it? So, if you drink this, these transfer factor molecules will now travel to your stomach, will go out into your will go into your intestines and to your villi and then into your bloodstreams. You know where they will go? They will look for your own T cells. Because our T cells are everywhere in the bloodstream. And our liver is seventy percent of our immune system. <laughs> so <laughs> that means to say that there so many T cells in our livers. Eh? So if this reaches your liver, 
where the T cells are awaiting, then it will connect. And what does it what does it do to the T cell? It gives them all the immunity. So what is that immunity all about? It is the ability to recognize all kinds of pathogens, all kinds of viruses. Now remember this. 95% of cancer is due to virus. So meaning to say, you now have the power, the power. You now have a powerful T cell in your body that can detect those viruses, isn't it? And also a lot of doctors are saying today that their antibiotic prescription are now down by 60% and they're replacing it with transfer factors because they say that 80% of infections among the diabetics are caused by viruses. So you see that this is just timely? So guys, this is a very timely product for infections or cancer and many others that are caused by viruses. So now you have this, it will lock into your T cell. You drink this every day because our cells in the body also are replenished have a new cell in the body. That's why you need to drink this every day to have new transfer factors attaching to new T cells and then your body is always upgraded. So this is about upgrading your own immune system. So if you want to upgrade your immune system, sign up now. And the reason for signing up is for you to be upgraded. If you are not upgraded, you will lose the war, the battle against viruses, bacteria, pathogens, cancer, and many other forms of pathogens. So today, this is an empowerment. You will be so empowered, your immune system will be something different. It will become an elite army. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, the future of medicine has just arrived. In the palm of my hand rests the phenomenal masterpiece of the immune system. So this Thank you for listening.